All right, let me just make this real clear so there's no more misunderstandings. The comments that I left here are under a video that I'm subscribed to the owner of the channel. I admire his work that he does with his content. So if I leave a comment like this, it's not trolling. It's not disrespecting. It's only because I got proof that is different than what you're stating. And I don't expect that person to believe me or just take my word for it. I expect them to fact check me at least. So this is why I left the comment. Because again, like I said, I really enjoy watching his content. But let's get into it so we can show some more proof than what I've already shown. Teasy. And why did he cooperate with the government? Because the government said that person cooperated. So his name, Man Man. A lot of people know who that is. Uh, it's stories on the internet that reported about Man Man. Uh, but he actually went in the courtroom. He got on the stand. And, you know, police asked him, I mean, uh, the, the lawyers asked him basically what went on. And he basically told the story of going to shop with Teezy, going to spend some money and buy things shopping. And Teezy seen Duck. Teezy walked out the store, dropped Duck location. Uh, man, man, ain't really know what the fuck was going on. You know, he basically said he was innocent and all of this shit. He went shopping and left with a murder charge, basically. So he cooperated with the police. You got to remember, this guy had several cases. Uh, he has several, several cases. He got a record, a background. He's known as a nigga that don't fuck around and play with. Uh, the crazy part about this is when you look at social media, uh, shout out Lord Chi and Patrell. She kind of updated this story as far as like his social medias and shit like that. That showed that, you know, he was posting disrespectful shit about Doug. Uh, real mean things about Doug. Then he was posting good things about Doug too, as crazy as that sounds. Maybe trying to throw people off. Because on social media, people was accusing him of dropping Doug low. You see that shit on social media. It slipped past a lot of people's eyes, but they seen it. Um, Lord T. Patrell actually showed those social media posts. She showed a post that showed that uh, he was shopping a couple days after Doug died. He spent about a G. Now, I ain't saying they had to do with any payment that he got. Because remember, people saying that Vaughn put money on their head. So I'm not saying he took a payment, but he did spend money. A thousand. Uh, a couple days after Duck died and shit like that. So that kind of made it look like a little suspicious. Kind of made it look like maybe he wasn't, you know, caught at the wrong time, an innocent person. And maybe he was the top player inside of this. Uh, but yeah, she reported that. But man, man hit that uh, stand yesterday. I'm not There's been a lot of, you like, new channels popping up. You know what I mean? Really using this trial to create content. Man, salute to all of those people. Um, to be honest, I didn't think this was the story was going to be as big as it was, but it's just taking off. So we've had to continue to give you guys updates. But basically, the big update that I'm seeing a lot of people talking about today is yesterday at court, the dude THF Man Man, a.k.a. Rachie, Rachie Dorsey, he testified, you know, what I'm saying uh, for the prosecution. OK, so this is the part where I had to go fact check myself. To see what he was talking about, who this uh, Rachie Dorsey was. Now, I got to give it to you. He's a good lookalike, but he's an Oblakian. Don't know much about him. But instead of wasting time checking too far into him, because I already know Adonis Dent is the guy, um, I'm going to continue to show some more proof that I had not shown you guys in the other video. And another one. Let's just get there. Now, watching further into his video, I can see this photograph was actually taken from Reddit. I don't want to kick Reddit, but hey, it is what it is. That's a 50-50 roll of the dice on accuracy. But let me keep going. All right. So I, I had this all done earlier. Video got fried. Whatever. So we're going to start over, but I don't have it set up. So y'all get to see how I do things. All right. So here we are on Man Man Spot. And we are looking at August the 1st at 2.57 in the afternoon. He's talking about some eyelashes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, this is the one that he calls his first son, Jacoby. Jacoby likes to post up a lot of THF crack stuff. To each his own, not me. Okay, but you see how he jumps a week. He doesn't post anything. Now, that don't necessarily mean squat 
other than the fact that, yeah, he spent a couple of grand a few days later. And if, if you'll remember, um, well, we'll get to it in the video, but if you'll remember how he was dressed and his appearance with the bed uh, still frames and stuff with his, well, I call them chunkless slides, whatever. We'll get to that part. But let's go here. This is what we're going to do next, okay? See his birthday, whole nine yards. Okay, here we go. Ba -da -doom, boom, boom. We're going to go over here. And I know cell phones, y'all get to do it differently. But I got the easy route because I got a computer, okay? So we're going to go to the friends. Y'all have the alphabets, uh, AB, uh, alphabetical order over here. We don't. We have no kind of order whatsoever on a computer. So we just use the search bar. And what do you know? Bada boom, bada bang, and here we go. Now, let's go there. Now, okay, he's still posted, so we're going to go do this. We get to, we, This is a cheat sheet y'all don't have. Okay, not on a cell phone anyway. I don't know, maybe y'all's iPhones or something. I don't know, I refuse to use an iPhone. This is just how I do things, so y'all get to see some of how I do it. Yes, no acetal is going to run off with it, but we know already, okay? Then we're going to go down. Boom, boom. August the 3rd. Cheesy posted this. August the 4th at 5.49 a.m. I know y'all can't do that on the cell phone. Okay. Whatever this is, we don't know. 7.52 in the morning. Then we jump to August the 5th. Now, this is not uh, carved in stone, concrete, or Moses walking out from the burning bush with the Ten Commandments. These are just guidelines, okay? Guidelines of how to do some research. Bada boom, bada bang. I won't cross nobody. I, I love for nothing in the world. Nothing. 11.43 p.m. on August the 6th. The weasel reposts it at midnight on the 7th. I bet he was probably jacking off to it, too, as well. Anyway, no, I don't like the weasel. Sorry. So you can see what he was posting afterwards. Again, it's not concrete. And I'm not going to go into concrete because you know why? We don't need to go into concrete. You know why? Because I know everybody says the same thing. They'll say, because I said it, I can stand on what I say. And they, 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 they go better go ask somebody else. Oh, well, I'm not even going to go down all those little elementary school cliches. Okay? Yes, you see all the music? Yep, he does that too. Anyway, again, with the child, pedophile, or whatever the hell the case is, I don't even want to look because then I'll just get my word, my temper up. But per social media, he's supposed to be a child sex offender. And that's the one that posted up the whole ducks taco thing. Y'all know what it is. So now we're going to jump to Booyah. And I listened to all but two of his songs that he has listed over here, which are these two I did not listen to, but I listened to those. And, yes, I actually posted one up on my channel because guess what? <laughs> it doesn't have a producer owning it. And we get to share this. Never mind. It's over y'all's head. Anyhow, the weasel's a weasel. Funny thing is, in these his music videos, which I had no idea he was a rapper, but or want to be rapper, all he does is talk about how some chick wants his dick so goddamn much, but you don't see no chick in their video wanting his dick so goddamn much. Side note, all the music artists, that's how females think. Sorry, get over it. So now let's go get straight to the real proof that Man Man is Adonius Dent. Wait, pump the brakes, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. I forgot a very important little clip. See, I'm in a hurry because I get irritated when my program freezes up and I have to start my whole video over. But let me go grab that real quick. Hold on to your seats, folks. All right, here's just a few posts. And remember, Cheesy did not get picked up by the feds until February of 2023 this year. And Cheesy, Pastor Cheesy, that used to be his name. Now it's Cheesy Cheesy. But if you click on it, it'll take you straight to Cheesy Cheesy still. But this here was from October of 2020. All right. Next. 
August 16, 2021. TZ and Man Man. Folks, they came out with the lemon pepper steppers. Hey, Look at them. And I got the roll over you, though. Fuck <laughs> what about roll. these, though? <laughs> <laughs> Those got the lemon peppers. <laughs> And y'all do me a favor, please remember this comment that Lashina Weekly made underneath uh, the video over, I think it was on Instagram. And remember all the Kiki and Kaka lovey-dovey that Man Man and TZ had after the murder of FBG Duck as you're watching this next clip with Truth Teller speaking to Man Man Adonis Dent on the telephone as you hear what he had to say, as if he had nothing to do with nothing, and like he just cut TZ off. Bullshit. I had an opportunity to speak with him, and uh, he told me something that I think is real, real strong, and I want to share with y'all, so y'all hit the like button. He said that, you know, even though he was in that courtroom, and he is a witness, is that he had to be a witness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what he said, you know? And uh, he was forced into that shit. Basically, he said he didn't even know Duck or something like that. That's what he said. Now, even though, you know, people may say different. And then I told them we was down there shopping for my kids. There's only two, two, two things that I heard from bloggers that were said. Only two things that were true that I heard from bloggers that were said. I headbutted him and I was paying him. And they asked him for and I said, tell him we was down there shopping for my kids. Only two, two, two things. Everything else, false. I ain't saying none of that other shit. Right. Now, I totally get you on that. This is the one thing that I do want to say, though, man, man. You know, I want to be honest with you, though, you know, because I get a chance to talk to you. Uh, it is like paperwork that came out, notes that came out that identify. It didn't say nobody had no statements, but it did identify that it it it, it worked out like a deal with the person that was with Teezy. Is that real? Yeah, look, I swear to God, oh, my kid. I, I, look, I they in court right now. Right. I, I, got, I got a video on my phone. I, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna send it to my cousin. He can send it to you. When I called Jason Julian and I told him like, "Look, y'all, he's like, that is not true, nigga." Everybody said I, I was never, I was never a target. If you see the video, I never hear the phone in my hand. Right. There was TVs on the phone. I said, so I was standing outside the store. I was never a target of investigation. They want to have the TV talk about the shooting. So again, folks, it's been confirmed. His name is Adonius Dent. He's witness number two. He is man man. He is the one that went in with TZ. And per my research, he ain't all that innocent. And, yeah, he's got reason to testify. Whether or not he made a proffer is another story. So, if you guys so choose, go ahead and go watch the full clips of the videos that have been uh, used to make this video, the, uh, the snippets of it. Go ahead and go watch the full video so that way you'll have the full story of it. Feel free to watch my video again that I put out the other day about Witness 2. Being a Donnie Stint, I sure would appreciate it. And we're going to go live. Later tonight.